you know, Top Rank is a great company. You know, they 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 do a great job, and and I still sign fighters with Top Rank because I know what what they're about. You know, and everybody in Top Rank treats me well. They 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 respect me for for what I what what I'm doing as a trainer. Uh, but you know, when it comes to Mikey versus Loma, you know, if, if Mikey would have stayed waiting for that fight, we'd have to wait. Probably, probably two years because yeah. that fight won't happen until it's it's necessary. It's just like uh, Pacquiao Mayweather. It probably we probably seen it five six years yeah. too late. In their prime, we never seen it. Why? Because t two TV networks won't work with each other. Uh, promoters won't work with each other. Bob Arum is going to want to do it himself. Mike is not going to go. You know let Bob Arum do it. And I know Bob Arum will never, never allow Loma, Loma to come to us because he just doesn't look good. Bob Arum is, is the top promoter out there right now. You know, not saying that others don't do a great, you know, I, he's been around for 50 True. years, that's why. Right. 50 right. years, he's a he's a, uh, a legendary person. And he's not gonna say, okay, here, here goes Loma, <laughs> even though you're paying me uh, next amount of money, there, there goes Loma, money you guys can go do your own fight because he's not gonna be part of it. Bob Byrne wants to be the main guy involved. And and Mikey's not gonna come to him either. Okay, you know what, I want that, that fight, so I'm gonna let you do it. Right. It's not gonna happen. Like, so that's why Mikey couldn't wait. And that was, the, besides Errol Spence, that was the only fight that was probably good enough for to motivate Mikey. That's the only thing that Motivation. Mikey doesn't wanna just, Mikey won't just fight, he doesn't wanna just fight. And now at this moment, Mikey wants to fight the best out there and, and the biggest fights out there. You know, everything goes well, I'm not, you know, I can't, predict but if everything goes well uh, after Errol Spence I don't even know what Mike is going to want to do you know what I mean stick it with crazy. Mikey man he wanted to take the challenge step up he yeah. wants to be great definitely you feel like if he wins this fight he is the number one pound for pound fighter in the world look there's there's like five or six uh, fighters right now that could easily be pound for pound number one but because it, it all depends who you ask you know a lot of people have different different uh, ways of thinking but after after the fight, if, if 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 everything goes like we expect, Mikey wins. Then I don't think I don't think any other person in boxing could could pick somebody else. Because what Mikey's doing is something that you know very few very few have ever accomplished, and uh, and 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 making it you know being able to do it against the best welterweight out there. So there's no question, Mikey's number one. 130, 135, yeah. 140, and stepping up to exactly. 147.